She's arriving tonight, Your Majesty. She left Geneva this morning. It's long. So long. We're being careful. And just as well. The rebels captured the airport this morning. There's too much turbulence! We have no choice but to change our heading, miss! Do you think she'll love me? I mean, before. I think she loved me. A daughter loves her father, Your Majesty. You're just a mercenary, Van Den Aert. What would you know about the feelings of a girl for her father? The last time I set eyes on her, she was six years old. The people, they'll follow her. You'll see. The people will rise up and turn on these vultures waiting for me to fall, to rip out my belly and snatch up the country. This is the land of my ancestors. You hear me? My ancestors and my daughters. Hang on, don't move. Camera? I found it in your bag, so it must be yours. I guess so. You have some very pretty things. You must be someone rich. Maybe even a princess. What's your name? My name is Aisha. I'm a palace servant. And you? I don't know. I, I can't remember. Everyone has a name. There's a book in your bag with a name on the cover. Perhaps it's your name. Let's call you Anne. Anne Smith. Like your book. Okay. Why not? I'm Anne Smith. So, welcome to Madergan, Anne Smith. Foreigners are always so well dressed. Here, this is for you. Really? It's mine? Oh, thank you. A thousand times thank you. From now on, you will be like my sister. Here in the palace, you can ask me for whatever you want. And my little brother, too. He works outside in the town and can be very helpful. Because you're family now, Anne Smith. So, you have a brother? Yes. His name's Mokhtar. He spends all day on the docks along the river. He helps offload the boats. Where are we here? In the harem of the Prince of Maragan. In Morenia. In Africa. Don't worry. Here in the palace we are well protected from the world. Given to pleasures of do-nothingness and daydreams. Maragan. What am I doing here, Aisha? The Bedouins found you somewhere in the desert. You were in a bad way, but they took good care of you. The doctor at the infirmary sent you to us to recuperate. But I can't stay here. That's for the prince to decide. I want to see the prince, Aisha. That's impossible. The poor prince is not well. 
A few days ago, he came down with the butterfly fever. So for the time being, he doesn't want to see anyone but the favorite who takes care of him. In Morania, butterflies make you sick? At this time of the year, white butterflies fill the skies. They only live for a few days. They mate and lay their eggs. Then, when the first drops of rain tumble to the earth, they die in the mud of the rainy season. For some reason, a great many people fall sick at this time. So, what are my options, Aisha? I don't know. Perhaps you could speak to Madame Swafi. Who is this Madame Swafi? She is the governess of the harem. She's as strict as they come. And I'd better get back to work, because if she catches me, I'll get severely punished. See you later. These are the negatives. I can't see anything yet. Hello, madam. Ah, well. You seem to be much better now, young stranger. Welcome to the palace. I am Madame Swafi, governess to the harem. Tell me, Madame Swafi, where are we? We are in the palace of the Prince of Madargan in Morenia. Again? I, I have to go lie down now. A harem? Like in fairy tales? I am here to assure the loveliness and well-being of our prince's wives. I get so bored in this palace, Madame Suafi. Time goes so slowly. <laughs> Time has no importance here, my dear. It flows like honey for those who abandon themselves to pleasures soothing and sensual. Aisha is very kind. She's been very sweet to me. Aisha is a scatterbrain. But I agree, she is a devoted servant. I so want to return home, to Europe. His Highness will allow you to return home when he considers you to be well enough. Please exhibit a little patience. Will the Prince agree to see me? <laughs> What are you thinking? You are not even a wife of the prince, let alone his favorite. All the same, I would like to meet the prince. For the moment, his highness has not requested to meet you, stranger. All your questions, I, I can hardly think straight. 
Goodbye, Madame Swafi. May clear skies go with you, my child. I wanted to ask... I have to go home. Well, try to get used to it. This isn't some kind of windmill where you can come and go willy-nilly. But somebody could help me in Geneva. And somebody would recognize me, I'm sure. Only the prince can let you leave. I told you. I want to go home. Home, you hear me? I want to see a doctor. A real doctor in Europe. Don't you want to understand? This is Morania, and Europe is far away. Looks like a piece of a tool. Hello, sir. Hello. You are the lady that had the accident in the plane, aren't you? I am Mustafa. You work here, Mustafa? I take care of the garden, miss. Maragan must be a beautiful town. People are leaving. Soon there will be nobody left in town. Why are people leaving the town, Mustafa? The rebels are wicked, miss. They are coming from the north to kill everybody. It's really quite wonderful. The prince must come here often to enjoy the sights and smells. He likes it very much, I think. But at the moment they say he suffers from the butterfly fever and doesn't leave his chambers. I would really like to meet the prince. Like I said, he doesn't leave his chambers, miss. And Kader, the guard, won't let you pass. Do you know how I could get out of here? Women don't leave the harem, miss. See you soon. You must be that girl they found in the desert. <laughs> I don't much like foreigners, you know? How did I get here? Do you know? You were found dying at the edge of the desert. They took care of you at the Madrigan Infirmary. Then they brought you here to the harem, because it is an excellent place to convalesce. That leopard is like me. He's bored in his cage. I don't like this animal. You should keep away from it. Leave me. I need some fresh air. Let me enjoy the silence.
The prince is a very lucky man. You really are a very beautiful woman. Mm. That's nice to hear. And who knows? Maybe you even mean it. Madame Suafi doesn't seem too easy to live with. <laughs> Mutton still yearns to be lamb. What do you mean? Do you mean she was once the favorite? <laughs> well, only she remembers it. I can see why the prince chose you as his favorite wife. Your beauty is stunning. The other girls in the harem can't even compare. You are very kind. Your compliments fill my heart with joy, foreigner. Aisha is very kind with me. Aisha is a servant. This palace is a strange place. Unworldly. What good is the world, foreigner? Are we not better here? This place is a haven of tranquility, but they say the war will soon be at the gates of Maragan. Within these walls, I am the beloved mistress. I care not what happens outside. So, you haven't heard anything about the revolution? Our king protects us. He is also a friend of our prince. I would like to meet the prince of this palace. You're his favorite wife, aren't you? You have no reason to see my husband. Being the prince's favorite must have its advantages. I have the privilege of seeing my husband regularly. That is something. Few of the women here could say as much. Princess, I want to go home, to Geneva. You must show some patience. First, you must wait to be healed. The gardener seems to enjoy his work. Probably. I never pay much attention to the servants. These garments and the jewelry you wear, they're exquisite. <laughs> what, these everyday things? You should see me ready to visit my prince. A dark dress embroidered with black silk. Bright colors only irritate my husband's sensitive eyes. I'd love to see you in that black dress. Tell me, would you wear it for me just once? This dress is my most cherished treasure. Without it, I don't think my husband would even receive me. I only wear it on the occasion of my visits. Other than that, it never leaves my chamber. How did you come to be the prince's favorite? Um, what does it take to seduce a man like the prince? Go on, tell me. You are too curious, foreigner. You bore me. So, how did you manage to attract the prince's attention? How did you get to be his favorite and be invited to his chambers? Some secrets are not meant to be shared, especially with a foreigner. Leave me now, please. Excuse me? Is it you that takes care of this leopard, Mustafa? I give him his food, I let him out in the evening, and I put him back in the morning, I clean his cage. I've never seen a leopard in a garden before. What's he called? He isn't called anything, so I don't call him. I whistle, and he knows that I'm coming to see him, that's all. Is the leopard tame? Depends on the day. Mostly he's just smart. One day. He tore off the arm of a girl. Mm, I have to go.
Excuse me? The favorite would barely speak to me. She's suspicious by nature. I've got to see the prince. I've got to. If you try to get close to the prince uninvited, Kader the guard will cut your throat. That leopard in the cage. Where does he come from? I don't know. All I can say is that it's a ferocious beast. The gardener lets it loose at night so it can devour prowlers. In fact, what are these weird scales for? They're dainty scales. Do-nothingness and self-indulgence make an evil pair. The prince would not appreciate my getting as fat as a goose. You have to watch your weight, princess? I certainly have an interest if I want to wear the dresses and finery the prince wants to see me wearing. I'll see you later, princess. Can I ask a favor of you? I have a craving for something sweet. Could you bring me some honey sweet cakes? That would be very kind of you. The jar is full now. Sweetie. Mm. Delicious, but not very filling. I'm going to starve to death. Could you bring me some more? The jar is full now.
get you some more of these little cakes. Mm. Mm. Exquisite. But just enough to give me a craving for more. Do you think you could find just a few? Here, these sweet cakes look scrumptious. Mm. Mm. They are. Oh, I feel bloated after all the cakes you made me eat. Would you prepare my steam bath for me? You're a perfect angel. Excuse me? How do I prepare the steam bath? The steam comes in one side of the bath and goes out the other. The difficult part is getting just the right amount of steam in the middle. Everyone here likes it different. Well, how can I set the amount of steam that you like in your bath, Princess? It's very difficult to judge. Here, take my medallion. It will adjust the flow of steam to exactly how I like it. See you soon, Princess. Goodbye, foreigner. She made it clear I'd have a heap of trouble if I was found hanging around the prince. That's not surprising. <laughs> she protects her position as if her life depended on it. And if I were to take her place... Anne! You want to become the prince's favorite? Don't you see? I have to take the favorite's place. Just long enough to ask the prince to set me free. But it's impossible. Maybe not. You're about the same size as the favorite. And with the right clothes, you'll be even more alluring. <laughs> the guard will be too busy tripping over his tongue to notice anything. See you soon.
I wanted to ask... The gardener's kind of strange, don't you think? He wouldn't hurt a fly. And he's not much smarter than one, either. I saw the favorite. She always wears the same black silk gown when she visits the prince. So, now you know what to wear when the time comes. Aisha, tell me where the favorite keeps her black dress. In her chambers. In a locked chest. If the favorite catches me snooping in her room, this won't have a happy ending. We'll draw her out. Far from her room. I know her weaknesses. She's a greedy little vamp. I'll need the key to the chest, Aisha. First things first. And first, you have to get into the favorite's chambers. Catch you next time. Okay, follow me. We're going to my room. But... We can't stay here. In fact... With this gown, the guard will be completely taken in. I'll put it on right away. No, the gown will never be enough. Kader doesn't see very clearly, but he has the nose of a hunting dog. Without the favorite's perfume, you'll never manage to fool him. What perfume? You never mentioned perfume, and I don't have any. The favorite's bottle is empty. But Madame Swafi must keep some in reserve somewhere. Catch you next time. In fact... Mmm, the favorite has such a delicious perfume. I'm sure it must contain musk. Absolutely not. She wears a very special perfume, distilled from Madagandier flowers. The prince mixes the perfume with his own hands in his workshop, for his favorite. The Madagandier. Isn't that a tree that grows here in Morania? It certainly is. There are even some in our own garden, my child. How can a leopard become a prince's companion? Hmm, it was certainly a rather curious idea of the prince to make it the centerpiece of his garden. Isn't this animal dangerous, Madame Soafi? This beast has a soul as black as his coat. Don't trust it for a second. The leopard is pacing circles in his cage. He's bored. The gardener lets it loose at night. It runs about the garden as it pleases. Our prince says that it scares off prowlers. I don't remember anything. What could I have come to do in a country like this? In these dark times, one does not come to Marenia without good reason, my poor child. Outside the palace walls, people say the war is approaching.
What war are you talking about? People say Rodan is dying. If that is true, it's not good news. You seem scared, Madame Suafi. People say the rebels will soon be at the gates of Madargan, and that they are without mercy. Goodbye, Madame Suafi. May clear skies go with you, my child. Could you let me through, please? Don't you want to answer me? saw these flowers in my dream. So, these are the sought-after Madar Gandhi flowers. Okay, now I can use this pole.
I wanted to ask... I've got the perfume, Aisha. Excellent. Okay then, let me help you get dressed. I will make you the most beautiful favorite there ever was. Do you think the prince will be taken in? If you're careful, yes. Is it you? Hello. No, you are not my favorite. Who is there? I can't see you. Hello. Um, my name is Anne Smith. Anne Smith, you say? So I see. Anne Smith. Now that is curious, really. Yes, uh, th that's it. Anne Smith. Hmm. Anne Smith is also the name of an English explorer that wrote a remarkable little book, The Lost Paradise of Morania. Quite a coincidence. A Anne Smith is a very common name, you know. You are this young girl they found in the desert, are you not? Hmm. Your plane was shot down by the rebels. You are very lucky to be here, young lady. Today, Prince, Today, I feel my destiny is in your hands. I am not your enemy, Anne Smith. Rest assured. I need your help. I need to go home. That will not be possible. These are troubled times. Morania is at war. That leopard makes my head spin. Do you mean to say that you don't like this animal? Really? I must say you are a strange girl, Anne Smith. It acts like it seems to know me. It's crazy. It sets me on edge. I can understand that. All the more because you don't know much about you. I think you will have to be very wary of him. But it's so calm here. True. We are sheltered for the time being within these walls. But the rebels will soon be here, and the people in town are worried. Why don't you leave? I cannot abandon my people. But what will you do then? Nothing. What would you have me do? I have always been a prudent man, but I doubt that will suffice. Much blood will be shed in this country. But if the rebels are murderers, you have to fight them. Our king is old and weakened. The army is in full retreat because it feels its commander is wavering. What is to be gained from fighting? So, you know the king well? I have served him to my best. I was even one of his ministers, a diplomat of sorts. Then I took care of my own affairs and this town. Twice a year the king used to stop at Maragan. The whole town would celebrate his arrival. But it has been ten years since we last had the honor of his royal visit. Why doesn't Rodan come anymore? Rodan is not the man he was. He has become a brooding and solitary figure. So, Rodan is no longer a good king for Morania? One should not speak of our king in this manner, Miss Smith. In Morania, we do not speak of such things. Rodan is the king. I don't know what I came here for. Well, you most certainly had a very good reason to come here in Morania with the country in full revolt. I can remember nothing. In fact, I don't even remember who I am. One does not come to Morania for nothing. Smith.
I'm sorry I took the place of your favorite wife. It was a very audacious thing to do. Too daring to be punished. I have to go home. To Geneva. Ah, it is not a simple thing to return to Europe in these times. Nor anywhere else, for that matter. The rebels hold the north, and from what I have heard, the airport is in their hands. But I must have family and friends who are worried about me in Geneva, and... And I need to see a doctor, too. Do you like stories, Anne Smith? I would like to tell you one. I tell you I need to go home, and you want to tell me a story? It's about a leopard. As black as night. You know, the one that turns in his cage in the garden. I heard that you have become somewhat attached to this animal. <laughs> People make up a lot of stories in this palace. But I do want to hear your story about the leopard. We don't know much about him. A while ago, he was sold by some poachers to a certain prince, an acquaintance of mine. This prince had gotten it into his head to train the animal to hunt gazelles in the desert. But the leopard, it seems, had already learned a thing or two in his own life. Too many things for his own good, most probably. The leopard was rather disinclined to bend to the will of its trainer. And he certainly had not the slightest intention of running long distances under the desert sun. A leopard is a silent hunter of the shadows. What is more, everyone in Africa knows this. But the prince was ignorant of these things. He gave up on ever being able to train the creature and abandoned it in its cage. But, your highness, what has this leopard got to do with me? The leopard grew weary of its cage. So the ignorant prince decided to return the animal to its birthplace. He bid a young girl, by the name of Anne Smith, to return the animal to the wild. The young girl and the animal would have to traverse all the lands of Morania on their way home. I have to cross the whole country with a leopard along for the ride, just to get home? <laughs> now, that's a funny story. It is a long journey, I agree with you. But today, it is the only possible journey. And this is no ordinary leopard, you know. This country is big. It will be a very long journey. Yes, quite so. You will need to travel to the far side of the southern provinces. From there, you can cross the frontier and take a plane or a ship and return to Europe, if that is still your desire. But how will I get there? I don't have a car or, or any supplies. I don't even have any food for such a journey. You are free to leave the palace. You've already proven yourself very resourceful. You'll find everything else you need in town. A leopard? What kind of traveling companion is that? You have much to learn about this animal. You will see. Catch you next time. Thank you.